Dragon Extinction. Looks like quite an interesting game and going to quickly create my character here with the option to play as a mage or a warrior at the moment and I assume there's a few more to come. Change your skin colour, hair colour, eye colour, face art colour and scar colour and you are on your way to starting your adventure. As I load in here, let me know how you are finding Dragon Extinction. If you like this kind of game and would like me to play a little bit more, I would appreciate being told. Welcome to Dragon Extinction. Open your inventory by pressing tab. That is something that I should be able to do. There we go. You get two attribute points when you level up. Spend them now. Okay. Power and vitality are always my go-to. You get one skill point when you level up. Select skills and spend the point. Leaping Strike with level 5. We have Frenzy and we have a dash. A point in dash. Tutorial board on the right wants me to assign skill. And do that by dragging down. Okay, that makes sense. So, one of the things that I will learn throughout this time is that pressing escape is not an optimal way to get back to the main screen. In fact, it constantly goes to the menu for you. All right, starting off with some pretty simple tutorials here. Signing the skill, visiting the storage chests, and checking the quest board for the first tutorial battle, I believe, that I will do. You can lock onto the target by pressing F. Creates a little X on the character that you are locking on. You can guard by holding mouse 2. Okay, I've got a bit of a shield here. You can dodge by pressing Q. Nice little dodge roll and the quest is complete. I must say that perhaps is the easiest quest that I have completed in any RPG game ever. And back to the town base, and it looks like the tutorial's finished, so I might go and see what I can do. I've got a broken sword there, that's not going to help too much. Okay, in my box I currently have nothing, okay. I can buy weapons for gold. Not quite sure how much gold I presently have, but don't think I can buy that. Buy potions, buy armor, buy jewelry. There you go. I get to look quite fabulous whilst fighting dragons and other things. I might go to the board and see if I can do one of the other quests that I assume will be a little bit more tricky. Hunting some different animals or defeating bandits. I feel like bandits is my go-to place here. It's a very pretty world, isn't it? Looking around, I can loot this box and get some kind of potions, I believe. Don't have any uh, abilities yet that I think take mana, but defeating 10 bandits, so I'm just going to take out these guys that have some interesting AI at the moment. They, Some of them turning their back on me and not really all that interested in me, and others that are charging me, that's good. To make sure that I don't get killed by this guy off screen. Quite like the design of the characters. Fighting feels pretty fun here. Although there's not a lot of feedback about when you hit them apart from the number, so that side of it at the moment is quite simple. I'm actually about half health, and this guy. I'm not sure where their health bar is. All right, we get to loot them afterwards. That's nice. Might use that blade. That dagger looks like it could be better than my broken sword that I'm using. And we have a bone. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with a bone. Crazy bandits just walking around with bones in their bag. Or perhaps that's a bandit bone that I got. See, this bandit here just sort of sits there and waits for me to stab him. And I must say... This knife is not feeling all that intuitive to attack 
feel like I'm missing most of my attacks here. It might just be that you don't know when you hit them sometimes. You're feeling like your attack should be knocking them back or something like that. Like this bit of this, this hammer here and see how that goes. Feels a bit nicer. Alright, 4 out of 10 bandits. We'll take that. It's a good start. Got a broken sword. It's probably why I won that battle, to be honest. I uh, feel like a broken sword is not the best weapon. Mine, okay. Looks like I mine using my shield. I don't know how that is possible, but let's go with that. Nice little environment around. Nice and bright. Quite colourful. Very familiar kind of playstyle to this game. 81 damage, that's not too bad. It's like the weapons are rolling for the same damage each time. 81, 81. So it doesn't seem like there's any damage rolling or anything like that. I'll loot this sword. Oh, old mate over here is just kind of uh, chilling. He's just seen his mate get murdered, but classic bandit doesn't really care. Wait a second, there is a wolf that wants to get involved, okay. I don't know if the wolves and the bandits are in cahoots, but didn't do too much damage there. Bit low on health at the moment actually, but looks like my health regenerates over time, so that might be a handy thing that you can, I guess. If you were in dire straits that you can wait around for a little bit and just make the level go a bit longer. Four more bandits to go. Looks like it might be kind of linear with a little bit of exploring, so... Although this is one of the early easy levels, so perhaps when I get to those later levels, let me know again if you want to actually see me play those later levels. There will be a bit more exploring and trying to work out. Got three bandits here to fight. Two are just happily waiting over there. Talking to each other, wondering, did you hear anything there, Jared? No. We'll reach level three, that's nice. Put a point in endurance here. I feel like I might need some endurance at some point. And power. I don't think I'd use Frenzy yet, so I might, ah, uh, there we go, we'll use Frenzy and try and get the attack speed. Alright, for some reason, this dear creature has decided that they don't like me, and they've got involved in the fight as well, that's okay. We'll take care of them, we've got wolves, we've got bandits, we've got some kind of reindeer-like creatures. We'll take them all on. Feels a bit awkward when you're trying to run away and then turn back around, it might be a camera issue. Is that a raccoon in the background? Okay. Might be uh, the same world when I do that hunting level or do that one next. I feel like this might be the same screen. 50, 54. I feel like it's not doing too much damage. Getting a lot of loot out of this, so at some point I probably need to go and sell or choose what I'm going to keep. Oh, there's the last bandit. Did he? Was he there before? Can't recall him being there. He's got a pickaxe to try and take us out. Alright, the final fight. Hitting for 72 damage now, 54. Oh, they're actually interesting. Maybe that was. Oh, level 4 and quest complete. Nice. 10 seconds to run around and try and pick up a bit of loot. So there you have it. What do you think of this game? Let me know in the comments below. I will definitely keep playing, but whether or not I upload footage or gameplay and commentary will be dependent on you.